name's Anna and I'm from String Bean Puppets. I'm a puppeteer and I'm really looking forward to making puppets with you today. But before we start our workshop, I'd like to play you a little sound. Have a listen and see if you can guess what makes this noise. A monkey? No. A parrot? No. A seagull? Dolphin? No. I'll give you a clue. It's my favourite animal. Yes, that's right. It's a penguin. That's the noise that a little blue penguin makes. We're really lucky in New Zealand to have little blue penguins living along our coastline. But unfortunately, there's not as many little blue penguins as there could be. A couple of years ago, I made a puppet show called The Penguin and the Sea Monster about little blue penguins and what we can do to protect them. I've got a special guest here today, Korora. He was the main character in that show and he'd really like to come out and say hello. Korora! Korora? Hello Korora! Today, we're going to be making penguin puppets, like Korora. All right, see you later. So, to make a penguin puppet, you're going to need some paper, some colored paper, or some wrapping paper, or some pages from a magazine, or you could use some plain scrap paper that you could color in and decorate. And you're going to need a toilet roll, or a bottle, or a paper cup, or a, a little pot that a pot plant comes in, or something like a yogurt container. Have a look in your recycling and see what you can find. You'll also need some pens and some things for sticking things onto your toilet roll or um, yogurt bottle or paper cup. And you'll need a stick like an ice block stick or some string. All right. So, your toilet roll or paper cup is going to be your penguin's head for your penguin's body. So what else does your penguin need? Hmm. Let's have a look at Korora and see what else penguins have. Korora, come back please. Korora, all right. Let's have a look. Well, Korora has eyes, and he has a beak, and he has, oh yes, he has feet, and he has wings, and turn him around, and he has a tail. Thank you, Korora. Right. So we'll start off with our penguin's face. Well, we'll start off with some eyes. So I'm going to draw some eyes. I'll just cut a piece of plain paper here and I'm going to draw a big circle and some wrinkles inside. eyes and then I will stick those eyes onto toilet roll or you could draw them straight on as well now under his eyes he's going to need a beak so I use some orange paper here and I'm going to just fold it over 
take that and draw a little triangle that along the fold. Now I'm going to cut along these two lines here. There we go. And here is our little beak. And I'll stick that on too underneath the eyes. There we go. Now our penguin, he needs some wings. Uh, here I'll give you some blue paper. It'll be like a little blue penguin as well. I've just folded the paper over again and I'm going to draw a wing shape. I folded it over so when I cut out this one wing, I'll actually cut out two wings. Get two at the same time. There we go. One, two. And I'll stick these on too. There. All right, you can have your wings hanging down or you can fold them so they stick out. Waddle, 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 waddle. Oh, to waddle, he needs some feet. So I'll use some yellow, I'll give him some yellow feet. And I am going to draw a foot with one, two, three toes. Like that. I'll fold it over and cut it out again so I have two feet. One, two feet. Now I'm going to turn him upside down and I'm going to stick the feet inside and fold them over you might need to stick some sticky tape in as well make it nice and strong Yeah, and he just needs one last thing, tail. So I'll cut another, just cut a little tail out of the blue. Stick that on. Here we go. So now our little penguin is all ready to waddle. Put him on your fingers and go, waddle, 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 waddle. So it'd be a hand puppet, or you could get a stick and make a little snip in the back, pushing your stick, and you've got a rod puppet. Waddle, 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 waddle. Or you could make a string puppet like Korora. So you'll need a string, and you'll need a needle or something sharp to poke a hole at the top above where the wings are, so through there and through there and there we'll tie it off Your penguin is almost ready to waddle. There we go. Waddle, 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 waddle. So there is your basic penguin puppet. Now, you might like to add some more decorations to make your penguin puppet an individual. Give him a bit of personality, give him a bit of character. So you could use your felt tip pens, you could color in his body, draw on patterns, 
You can have a look around and see what other things you have in your house you could use to decorate. For example, I had some tinsel left over from Christmas. So that makes quite interesting looking penguin hair. Uh, you might find that you have some pipe cleaners and you could twist them up and make some glasses for your penguin. Here you go. Or you may, might take some coloured paper, some coloured cards and make your penguin a little hat. So you don't need to start off, you don't need to just make one puppet. You could make a whole family of penguins. And I got a little bit carried away. So I made a whole lot of little penguin puppets. Here's a paper cup one. And he's not just any penguin, he is a superhero penguin. He's got a cape and he's got a superhero mask. Dun, 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 dun. I used a bottle to make this penguin. Du, 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 du. Du, du. Can you see what I used to make his wings? I used ice cream container lids. And he's got plastic packaging for hair. There we go. Uh, oh, I found this nice fluffy red fabric. So it could make a nice fluffy penguin puppet. And I stuck that on using an elastic band, so I just put an elastic band around like that. There go. Oh, I had some feathers, so this was a very pretty looking puppet with a feather that goes wobble, wobble, wobble on top of her head. And I also made another New Zealand penguin. Do you know what sort of penguin this is? This is a yellow-eyed penguin. Oh, hoi ho. So, penguins are very adventurous creatures. They like to explore, so now your puppets might like to explore your house. And they're also great storytellers, so they might like to put on a puppet show. So, happy puppet making.